All right, Kevin, so how'd you do? I did great. My first, my second set was much better than my first. A lot of power, a lot of control, a lot of engagement. And uh, I kept a consistent rhythm. I didn't stop at all. Like, I, I just murdered that set. So I'll definitely go up a few pounds on the next one. All right. Yeah. Good morning, Kevin. Hey, Mike. Good morning. We have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't just come out and say that. <laughs> but we are, we are working on how we, you know, introduce this conversation today. And mm -hmm. really, it's always best to just say what's on your mind. And just as you mentioned it, we're having a hard time mm -hmm. discovering what we're going to talk about this morning. But the way I feel, okay. I feel really good, actually. I have a lot of energy. I probably could use a little bit more rest, but I do feel overall really good and ready to get the, get this day moving. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was phenomenal. Everything from our conversation we in the did. morning we had an awesome to our workout today. session mm -hmm. to finishing to finishing up um, our, our projects for Kevin and Mike and for the glute program that I'm working on. And after that, got even more busy family time, mm -hmm. and I went and did some more cardio in the afternoon. It's a very very productive day and. When you expend all of that energy, you have to also focus on the recovery so you can be prepared for the next task. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. <laughs> Thinking of something to say? Yes, trying to. <laughs> I'm just, you know, if this is about what's on my mind, it's just that we're trying to figure out a way to get the Kevin and Mike videos out quickly. Um, yes. We are trying to go to a vlog type entry and that is sort of a daily report of how you're doing that day and it's sort of like a day in the life sort of thing oh, without a doubt. and so far i'm being let down by my computer processing if it could keep up with me we would have it done in just a matter of hours yes, yes. so that's a challenge that i have uh when you are making videos it has to process it and render or color or do render or doing all these things and you just sit there and wait sometimes for it to finish. exactly and and you are using the latest software um through through mac so <laughs> i am power using it just yeah trust me to the best ability yeah so that's it i mean that's what's on my mind is that i want to get these projects out there because yes. we are doing incredible filming we're so enthusiastic about this project and what we're doing and we just need to get the product out there so that's it's not frustration at all too it's just figuring out a way other other people do it. They have the same challenges that we do, yes. and they have figured it out. So when I figure it out, you'll, you know, we want these at least two or three times a week to begin with. Oh, certainly. Yeah. certainly. That's our goal is at least twice a week, if not three times a week. There we go. And we're trying to get the information out to you. Mm -hmm. And we'll get it going as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But right now, I guess we're going to be leaving to go to the, to the gym soon. We're going to head out to the gym. We got legs today. So just when they started healing, we're going to put some more stress oh, wow. on them. Leg strength. Man, usually you, it takes you about, what, 48 to 72 hours mm -hmm. uh, to recover. And we went 96. <laughs> okay. A little bit further than I that. I feel fine. I feel like my legs. It's just yesterday was an incredible workout. It was a back yes. day, and that's always a, another major muscle group. Big, huge muscles back there. So it's a draining day. Yeah, there we go. Big, huge muscles back there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're working on legs. We're going to get legs today, Let's specifically the, the hamstrings, our glutes, and uh, we'll get some work done. Okay, so something I noticed, those are all muscles on the back of the legs. Kevin likes to, I have noticed this, that you like to split your legs into... I do break down. Because there's the front of your legs and the back of your legs. Then you got the inner thighs and your outer thighs, so I, I really break sections. everything down in the, mm -hmm. in the sections. All right, you ready to go? Let's do it. All right. <laughs>
Big move to that right side. Stay with it. Stay with it. You know what, Kevin was not super excited about our thought of the day today and he was hitting me, okay? This is a heavy weight for me, okay? And I had to do it 15 times. In my first set, I was so focused on that 15, I mean, think about that, it's a scary number, 15, that I conserved energy on the early ones. I conserved my breathing. I was so focused on that 15, you see where I'm going with that? that I didn't maximize one, two, seven, 10, 12. On this last set, can you tell that I'm able to speak to you right now because I'm breathing? What I did is I concentrated on each and every step. Every step was a rep and I had 15 of them and I made sure I breathed in really well and I exhaled really well. I did all the things that Kevin has taught me each and every rep. So that's my message of the day is when we have something challenging that's in front of us, don't focus so much on that challenge. Focus on all the little steps that you're going to take to overcome that challenge. And you will reach that point ready for your next one. But breathing well, breathing good. So that's Mike's message of the day. And now I'm going to pass this on to Kevin because he's going to come up with an even better message of the day for our next video or someday in the future. I just challenged him though, didn't I? That was a good one. It was. And look at that. I'm even able to talk right now. I feel great. You feel great.